What's up guys and girls, in this video I want to talk about Balder and if he actually loved the Giants at some point in time before getting twisted by his father. There is some compelling arguments to be made that he actually loved the Giants, so please watch to the end and make a comment to let me know. I asked you all, do you think Balder should return in a community post? And as always, I like to really show off these community posts in my videos. Most people, 56%, want Balder to come back. And I find this very interesting. He's probably one of the best bosses in the entire God of War saga. Even though it may not seem like it in God of War 2018, Balder is actually the God of Light. In the real mythology, he has a reputation of being loving. Everybody loves this guy and he loves everybody. He tries to share as much joy to the world as possible. That's why when I first played through God of War 2018, I had a very hard time really accepting that this was actually Balder. Compared to his Norse counterpart, he is nothing like the God of Light in the real myth. However, there was one moment, one moment in the entire game where he actually showed some type of kindness to something else. In this case, the thing that he showed kindness to was actually the giants of all things. So in this video, I want to show you that one part where he mentioned some type of kindness and compare it to the rest of his actions throughout the game to see if this contradicts this. You can't win! I feel nothing! But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying! I'm not my brother, and if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. I'm not my brother! I'm not my brother! I'm not my brother! And if you'd given me what I wanted, it so we all know the brother he's referring to is Thor, the one who destroyed so many giants at Midgard. If you don't know, Baldur's mission here was to come and find a giant who was rumored to be living in the forest. As soon as Kratos destroyed the protection runes, Baldur tracked them down easily. Baldur saying this line, I'm not my brother, if you had given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way, I think it's him referring to Thor destroying all the giants needlessly, that he didn't need to destroy all the giants, that is Thor just doing what Thor wants, but Baldur is clearly making a statement saying that I'm not Thor, I don't just kill for no reason. Also, Balder has been manipulated for years and years and years by Odin. There are several key things that really point to this. One, Cory Barlog, uh, another one in the game, Amir mentioned this, and once in lore and legends. Let me actually show you guys that right now. Ready to process that, right? She's still dealing with the fact that Odin is a giant, giant douche, right? And, and the things that he did to her, right? Because he's, he's the psychological warrior mm -hmm. right odin is is kind of this character that he's not about punching you in the face right mm -hmm. he's about you know the psychological manipulation of saying we're gonna get a divorce and i'm gonna make your son choose me mm -hmm. right how messed up yeah. is that yeah. odin must have convinced him that following you to jotunheim would bring his cure lies i'm sure and last in Lore and Legends, there is a passage that says Baldur hates his mom so much he stays in Asgard with his manipulative dad. Is there any moments in the game that really contradict that Baldur didn't love the giants at some point? When he knocked out Jarmungandr, a giant, he only did it just to lure out Kratos and Atreus, which actually worked. I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. During their first meeting, Baldur uses sarcasm, saying, you're supposed to be so much smarter than us, then why are you here in the forest like a coward? And here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods. In this scene, he never really insults the giants either. He just can't believe that a giant will be living out here in the woods. Again, because he believes Kratos is the giant they're searching for. Much later in the game, after realizing Kratos wasn't the giant, 
Balder attempts to take Atreus because Odin believes that since Atreus is part giant, he can show him the way to Jotunheim. And Balder kind of compliments Atreus. All uh, this time, I thought uh, I needed you. Uh, but you're just me. Uh, uh, turns out the boy is the brains. Balder has very different objectives than Odin and Thor. Odin and Thor want to win Ragnarok, that's their conquest, however Baldur's conquest, his path is much different than his father's. All he wants to do is serve his father so that his father can find a way to break his own curse. I do believe that Baldur is a lover of the giants, he loves the race, but again he's just been manipulated and twisted so much over the years that he will do anything his father wants just so he can have a chance to feel again, that's all he wants. If you want to see more on Baldur, I did a video on every single tattoo on his body. Think of that as a part 2 to this video because that really shows how much pain he's really going through as an individual. Thank you all for listening. Deuces!